All right, so unboxing this Cyber Power PC Play Ready. It's a pre built gaming PC from Cyber Power, but purchased from Best Buy. So we have Windows 11 Home, a AMD Ryzen 5 5600G, 3.9 gigahertz, 8 gigs of DDR4 memory. Um, the GPU is the AMD. Radeon RX 6600, 8GB, uh, solid state 500GB hard drive, comes with CPU, air cooling, um, case lighting, Wi Fi built in. It's not Wi Fi 6, just AC. Comes with a gaming keyboard, um, seven color gaming mouse, and a one year warranty. So I was surprised, didn't know that I was getting the keyboard, but apparently the keyboard is only worth uh, about $30. So this is the side of the box. Let's see. This is the same thing, just a different color. All right. So inside the box, I did already cut it, but I didn't open it up so you have the gaming keyboard which is play ready wired gaming keyboard so uh no he zero one so we'll uh put that aside and we'll open that up in a bit hey look there's a tear here that's okay. Alright, so I'm gonna see if we can get this out safely. I don't know what that tear is all about, but I need two hands to do this, so be back in a flash. Alright, important. It's a nice little plastic bag. Oh, it looks like there's a USB key. Let me start it. That's cool. Please remove the tear away USB key. Plug in and start the process, and then it takes you to their website. Deliver review, and you can get um, twenty dollars in Amazon cards. Also comes with one month of Xbox Gaming Pass. I think I will give that a try. And then if you register, you'll get a free gaming mouse. This is the Quick Start Guide. So we gotta make sure we get the foam out. So we'll have to slide open the side of the case. Um, remove the protective foam before turning on and inspect all cables to make sure that none were disconnected during shipping. Then we'll connect our display, which I'll be using HDMI, and I'll be hooking up my speakers later. That's my my little cart with the my stethoscope and uh, record player on it. But I may end up hooking those up. But this will just be an unboxing. And then maybe I can do a review later. So here's the power port. Okay, so this is the back. You see the, the fan. Um, you see where the, the grill, see where the power supply goes. Uh, make sure you connect the monitor in the proper place. This is the tempered glass. We'll have to remove these two screws to get the packing foam out. And this is the front. And then 
it's cool like there's this um, headphone jack it's a USB 3 on the top I like the black color of it tried to tilt it over all right so I have to get my screwdriver so I can um, take out the packing foam so this important strip right here that says a uh, read before removing um, it looks a little confusing because you're like oh you take the sticker off these are all your inputs look at that glue getting stuck there so you have uh, two USB type 3 you have a, a type C you have a display port and then there's a HDMI in um, and then this is where the Wi-Fi connection goes. You have an optimal, optimal out, and then you have some audio ports. But the displays actually go here. And so that's a display port. That's a display port. That's a HDMI. And that's a display port. Well, I'm glad um, there's at least one HDMI. I think I may have some display port cables all right so let's uh let's get the power connected and read the guide I took off that tape and you see there's even more ventilation up top um looks like the tape left some glue that's a bit annoying but we'll take care of that and we're going to move this to get it in place um, it actually says um, connect the display before and then any peripherals before uh, connecting the power so we will do that okay so I took off um, two of the screws on the back up top back right and now we get to take out this packing foam and then we get to check our connections. So, looks like we got a T-Force in there. Um, now I'm not very savvy. I've never really had a gaming PC before, but you have a, a couple of uh, fans on the back. You have one on the front, and then you have a cool master over the motherboard. And then uh, the graphics card, which I wonder, I don't know what that is supposed to connect to. Um, I think this is for if I upgrade and add another to be able to connect to, but I'll double check that. Yeah, it looks uh, pretty nice in here. Um, I don't see any cords that are frayed or snagged or disconnected beyond this one. So let's get our glass back on and then we can All right. So that's with the glass back on. I just need to toss those screws back in, keep it in place. There's one. And here's the other one. So here's the mouse that came with it, Elite M1 131, half of 262 mouse we'll look this up to see how it is and you see the glass doesn't look that great but it's because i didn't take this off like a mr who's the boss very satisfying if i turn off the flash we'll see what we see looking through all right so let's check out this keyboard it's like rip box. Okay, one here. It's gonna 
while since they use a non wireless keyboard. I may stick with my Logitech wireless one um, because you can hook up multiple devices to it. And if I'm not gaming, maybe I don't want this one permanently on the desk. Hmm. It looks a little cheap compared to some of the other ones you see. But we'll plug it in and try it out. So I have the Ikea Freddy desk and it is a snug fit, but it does fit. And I'm glad it does because otherwise, I don't know what I would do. And yeah, excuse the mess. lift off so check that out first time turning it on got some the colorful RGB over the motherboard and on the back and then also on the front so slide this back and then it's coming up on sorry for the flat it's loading up on my monitor. I have two monitors set up. Uh, so I'll have the ability to have both the Mac and my gaming PC set up, depending on what I'm working on. Uh, Cause I have a two monitor set up and they both have HDM, two HDMI um, inputs. So I'm gonna get this set up and thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully uh, you come back to see more about how the computer works.